You guys have heard of placebos, right? A placebo is Latin for I will please, but does it really? Hey everyone, welcome to D News. I'm Lacey Green. And I'm Trace. Placebo is a medicine or a procedure that isn't proven to treat your illness, but does make you feel better. When it comes to the placebo effect, the drug itself isn't important. What makes it work is that we're trained to know that taking pills makes us feel better, so then we feel better. Ta-da! So in fancy words, classical conditioning, like Pavlov's dogs, there's also another similar fancy thing going on called subject expectancy, where we expect to feel better, so we unconsciously change our reaction to our symptoms. Common placebos are sugar pills, aspirin, vitamin and mineral supplements, or antibiotics, and they're generally used, for instance, if a patient is in pain or experiencing fatigue and there's no treatment available, or if they insist on getting treatment and the doctor is like, okay, hey, no, you don't. <laughs> That. A study that just came out in the journal PLOS1 reveals that placebos are pretty common. Like 97% of doctors in the UK that admitted to giving placebos in place of medication at least once in their career, right. not all the time. And in the US it's like half. But before everyone in the US freaks out about paying an arm and like a left buttock for the sugar pills, there are two things you gotta know. One. Our healthcare system is really, really different from the UK's National Health Service. Theirs is publicly funded, so it's not such a great burden or expense to get care. Right, and also placebo pills are effective because they do actually have an effect on your brain. A 2004 University of Michigan study showed that the patients who were told that a placebo was a painkiller responded to it similarly to a pill. Their brains released the same endorphins as the brains of people who received real pain medication. Whoa. Right? Yeah. Right? Trace? How does that make you feel inside your heart to know that you might not be getting real medication for your aches and pains? I don't know, it makes betrayed, bewildered. I, I'm just kidding, So actually. much sadness <laughs> and pain. I actually feel okay with it. I mean, if a doctor was to, to prescribe me a pill and it made me feel better, who, who am I to say what's in it? I don't know what's in a pill, even if it is a drug, like, I don't know. But if I feel better at the end of the day and I didn't have to take antibiotics or something and help contribute to super bugs, yeah. then I'm all right. Yeah. I think I kind of, I think I feel the same way. I don't think I'd feel betrayed. I mean, it is still a medication. Mm. You're basically giving me a mental treatment instead of a physical treatment, but it does essentially solve the problem. Unless it didn't solve the problem and I was like dying and they didn't give me a real medication. Yeah, that's not cool. Then I would sue them. I would sue them all the way. <laughs> so what do you think, guys? Let us know in the comments and come find us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google Plus for more sciencey tidbits. We'll see you next time, guys.